This chapter gives you an overview of PO Builder, our powerful material analysis, inventory reservation, and purchase order generator. The work order materials subtab drives PO Builder. All material needs are identified on the work order materials subtab. If you haven't done so already, we recommend watching our tutorial on work order materials found in Chapter 6, Work Order Part 4. PO Builder consists of four window panes, work order materials, inventory, vendor, and purchase order. Each window pane is resizable via the vertical and horizontal splitters that border the window pane. To change the size of a window pane, simply move the vertical and or horizontal splitter accordingly. The work order materials window is where PO Builder displays materials that are ready to be purchased. First, select how you want the materials tree sequenced via the Sequence button. The Sequence dialog box lets you display and sequence materials four ways, as well as choose what kinds of materials to include. If you have one person that handles purchasing, we recommend sequencing material by material, job, item, work order, or by vendor, material, job, item, work order. Either choice shows all jobs that require a given material, so you can purchase for all jobs at the same time. This reduces the time required to purchase for several jobs and reduces the number of purchase orders. On the other hand, if you delegate purchasing to several project managers, each responsible for purchasing for their respective jobs, we recommend sequencing material by job, material, item, work order, or vendor, job, material, item, work order. ShopPack remembers material sequence between sessions for each ShopPack user. When you choose the PO Builder main tab, you'll see the current sequence displayed next to the Sequence button. Click the Fill Tree button to build a refreshed materials tree. ShopPack displays the PO Builder Material Tree Filter dialog box. Select the work order status values that you want PO Builder to consider when it builds the materials tree. Only materials located on work orders with matching status values will be considered. ShopPack remembers your previous work order status settings across sessions. When you press the OK button of the PO Builder Material Tree Filter dialog box, PO Builder reads the database and builds the materials tree based on your selection instructions. In our example, we've sequenced the material tree by material, job, item, work order. The list of materials is presented in ascending material description sequence. Clicking on a material shows which jobs require the material and the quantity for each job. Each row of the grid contains specific information about each job. Clicking a job changes its icon to a selected job and shows the job items underneath the job. The job information grid changes accordingly, showing specific information about each job item. Clicking a job item or work order shows the elements beneath the selected node, as well as changes the job information grid accordingly so it now shows work order level information. If you select a material that is also an inventory item, PO Builder displays current inventory counts for the selected material. If there is enough available stock and or on order stock to address material need, or for that matter, even a part of the need, press the Reserve button to place a reservation against inventory. Clicking the Reserve Inventory button updates inventory counts. Once you place a reservation against inventory, ShopPack updates inventory and the associated material accordingly. Notice that PO Builder paints the job information red, indicating that the material needs have been met for these jobs. Next, it displays the Generate Materials Labels button in the Inventory Window pane. 
There are several places throughout ShopPack for generating material labels. If you decide that it makes sense to generate material labels at this point, click the button. ShopPack displays the Reservation Label Generation dialog box. Enter the number of labels to generate and click the Generate Label button. Generating and printing labels is a two-step process. The Vendor window lets you see the vendors that supply the selected material in the Materials window. A selected material in the Materials window will display vendor information if the material is a Project Pack library item that has vendors associated with it, or the material is a Shop Pack inventory item that has vendors associated with it. Use the Vendor window to check on material availability, pricing, and delivery dates. Generating purchase orders is a snap with PO Builder. Basically, you drag a node from the materials tree and drop it on the purchasing window pane. PO Builder does the rest. The node you choose to drag depends on the scope of what you want to purchase. For example, if you have organized the materials tree by vendor and you want to purchase all needed materials that are supplied by that vendor, simply drag the vendor node over to the purchasing window pane. Each material in the materials tree listed under that vendor will become a PO item on the purchase order. However, let's say you want to limit the PO to only those materials needed by a particular job. In this case, you'll drag just the job node over to the purchasing window pane, limiting the purchase to just those materials listed on the job. Just like placing reservations against stock material, Creating a new purchase order paints the job information red, indicating that the material needs are met for these jobs. The next time you click the Fill Tree button, all materials that have been reserved or purchased fall off the tree. Purchasing status is displayed back on the Work Order Material sub-tab, so you always know what's the current situation with all materials. For more information on all fields and controls, please refer to Chapter 8 of the Shop Pack User's Guide.